up guys it's Kat welcome or welcome back to my channel I'm gonna share with y'all my favorite seven step routine to clean your home or just your room whenever you're feeling overwhelmed or if you're in a rush and you need something to just follow step by step to get through it super quickly and you'll see that for each step I have like a little one to three word title so it's super easy to jot that down in your phone or on a piece of paper and then whenever you have a mess to clean up and you're feeling overwhelmed just go back to that list check it off as you go and I promise I promise you it will make it seem way more manageable and my favorite way to go about this routine is instead of doing all seven steps in one room and all seven steps in the next I will do step one in all of my different rooms step two in all of my different rooms and so on and so forth and I find that that makes the process seem more manageable because I'm not focusing on the entire mess in a room I'm only focusing on one thing at a time and you'll see what I mean as we get started but I really hope this can help you out and without any further ado let's get into the seven step routine Step one for me is almost always laundry. And if you don't have laundry, of course you could skip this step, but I find that there's typically always at least one load that needs to be done. And this way, while you're doing your rest of the cleaning, the laundry can be running and you can fold it, put it away once you're done with everything else. Okay, so step two is dealing with all of the garbage. So first I'm emptying out the trash can in my kitchen and putting a new fresh bag in there so that when I take the rest of the garbage out, there's somewhere for it to fit in. <laughs> and then I'm walking around my entire condo throwing out any garbage. And this is just gonna make the entire place seem a little, little less dirty when you're doing your cleaning and more of just messy. To me, one of the most overwhelming parts of cleaning a space is if there's a whole bunch of stuff there that isn't supposed to be there that's just taking up room. So this next step is to remove anything that does not belong in the room. And of course, if you're cleaning multiple rooms like I am, go through each one, move each item into the room that it belongs in. That way, when we get to the next step, you know that everything that's in the room is supposed to be there and you can just focus on organizing it and putting it away. So step four is definitely the most time consuming, but very essential, obviously, and that is to deal with everything that does belong in each room. And for this step, I again like to go room by room and take care of each one completely before I move on to the next one. And when you're dealing with each room, another little tip on how to make that feel a little less overwhelming is focus on section by section. So in the kitchen, I first put all of the food items away and then I'm focusing on the dishes. And another huge tip I have with the kitchen when doing dishes is if you fill your dishwasher and you realize you don't have any more room but there are still dirty dishes, make sure that you rinse off all of the leftover dirty dishes. You don't have to fully clean them if you're just gonna wanna do another load after, but at least rinse them off, clean out the sink, and then neatly place them in the sink, not on the counter. That way, when you're done, it at least looks and feels clean and it's not gonna be as overwhelming as if you still had dishes all over the place. And this way, even if you're not done with the kitchen, like I still have to wash those pots, which I'll do once these are all put away, and you still have dishes to do, it still looks clean from afar, and it's not gonna feel overwhelming when you walk in here throughout the day while the dishwasher is running. All right, we're gonna move on to the living room now. Okay, so moving on to the living room, whenever you have a focal point in a room, so for example, the couch in the living room, I highly recommend that you focus on that first. So today I actually decided to remove all of my couch cushions and vacuum underneath. I feel like this is not something most of us do that often. I know that I don't. So this is a little reminder, a little push of motivation that if you have not vacuumed underneath your couch recently, go ahead and do that. And I'm using this mini cordless vacuum I got off of Amazon. I am honestly in with it if you've been watching my channel for a little while you've probably heard me talk about it before <laughs> but i'll have it linked in the description not sponsored i bought it with my own money i just really really enjoy it it's very convenient so i vacuumed up under there and then i am putting all of the couch cushions back and making the couch super put together
And yes, I know this may seem a little weird, but I find that it's super easy to just vacuum up my coffee table. <laughs> and then I'm tidying up the floor over here. Is this sleigh not adorable? Tim's dad gave this to us and I'm so excited when we have a front porch one day to use that to decorate it. And there were also a few ornaments he gave us, so I'm adding those to my tree and then putting the sleigh underneath it. Another tip, if you're not taking the trash and recyclables out at that exact moment, at least neatly line them up by the door. That way next time you leave, you don't forget to grab them, but they don't look like a mess thrown out all over the place. <laughs> this room is like the most awkward room to try and film in because I just have this very thin doorway here. So I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hold you like this the long way so you can see everything. I'm gonna snap my fingers and it's all gonna be clean. All right, this goes without saying, but when you get to your bedroom, make the bed first. <laughs> this is immediately gonna make the entire room seem way cleaner, way more put together, and way less overwhelming. And you could see here, I played around with the blanket a little bit. Also, I thought maybe now would be a nice time to say, if you are enjoying this video so far and you're finding it helpful or motivating or anything of that sort, you should totally consider subscribing if you are new here. And if you are new and this is one of your first videos you're watching of me and you decide to subscribe from it, let me know in the comments. I would love to know that. And you can also, if you're interested, follow me on Instagram at it's Catherine May. All right, back to the video. So once step four is complete, you should be able to walk around your home and everything looks super neat and tidy and in its place and just beautifully decorated with your own personal style. And everything is ready for step five where we're gonna get into some real cleaning. I think one of the most underrated or not talked about enough steps in cleaning is dusting, at least for me. I feel like I don't focus on it enough. <laughs> and if you don't have a duster, I ran out of my little dust pads. I just used an old sock and this honestly worked just as well. You just dust it off and then you know throw it in the washer when you're done. But it's easy to forget how much dust can accumulate in places that we're not touching every day, like the tops of our mirrors or the tops of our TV or TV stand or picture frames. So I'd say at least once a week or once every Every other week you go around your home and just dust off all of those surfaces to make sure that it's not accumulating too much. Okay, and on to my favorite step, which I've said a million times, but that's wiping surfaces down. I don't know why I find this so enjoyable, but I do. And I'm using the Mrs. Meyers Multi-Surface Cleaner in Snowdrop. I had never used this scent before and I recently tried it out. And honestly, this is one of my new favorites. So I'll have it linked in the description. I think I got it from Target. And I feel like most of the time when I wipe surfaces down, I just think about wiping like counters and my dresser and everything. But it's important to remember to wipe down your mirrors as well and make sure those are looking nice and clean. But then in the living room, I switched back to my Iowa Pine. This is one of the classics. This is the first scent I ever got of Mrs. Myers, and it's always gonna be one of my favorites. And the final step, which I highly recommend you do not skip, is vacuuming all of your floors. For some reason, I've always enjoyed vacuuming. I'd say it's one of my favorite cleaning chores. My least favorite is definitely laundry, but let me know in the comments what your favorite and least favorite cleaning chores are. Thank you. 
And of course, this extra table is not going to stay here. We're gonna be selling that, so that should hopefully be gone soon. But I am really excited to completely redo the setting of the big new dining room table. And we are on the hunt for six chairs. I feel like this one is too big for four chairs. So we've been looking on LetGo and Facebook Marketplace for a set of six chairs. And I often get questions about the best ways to motivate yourself to clean when you're not feeling it. I do have a ton of videos that I share multiple different ways to motivate yourself to clean with. So I'll have those videos linked in the description if you wanted to check them out. But I find that one of the best ways to motivate myself to clean is just to remember how amazing it feels when everything is so neat and in its place. And nine times out of 10, that gives me the push I need to get up and get going if I don't feel like it. And another way to motivate yourself to clean, which I don't think I've actually talked about in any of those videos that I'll have linked below, but is to provide yourself with some sort of a reward for once you're done. So for me, I knew I wanted to add more lights onto the Christmas tree. I just didn't feel like there were enough. So that was my reward to myself for today. Once I finished cleaning and everything was super nice and neat, Tim and I went ahead and added the extra strand of lights that we got onto the tree. If you watched until this part of the video, comment in the description box, in the description. Let me know in the comments, not the description box. <laughs> Ooh, what, what kind of candle is this? This is a Christmas spice candle. So comment Christmas spice if you watched until this part. And I think that's about it. So I love y'all so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. I will have my entire clean with me playlist linked above me and I'll have my holiday playlist linked in the description. And I think that's about it. So I love y'all and I will see you in my next video.